NDLEA Oshun Command takes anti drug campaign to the pulpit, warns youths of devastating consequences. The National Drug and Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA Oshun State Command, took its anti drug campaigns to the SS Peter and Paul Catholic Pro Cathedral Church in Lagere, Ileife. During the church service today, Sunday, August 18, 2024, after obtaining permission from the parish priest, Reverend Father Peter Adeyemi, the NDLEA team was invited by the chief celebrant, Reverend Father Andrew Fashino, to address the congregation. Mrs. Adegoke, an officer of the NDLEA, seized the opportunity to enlighten the community on the dangers of drug abuse and the crucial role parents play in preventing it. During her lecture, Mrs. Adegoke highlighted the devastating consequences of drug addiction and emphasized the need for collective efforts to combat substance abuse. The NDLEA's outreach program aims to reach out to various communities, including religious groups, to spread awareness and co encourage collaboration in the fight against drug abuse. By taking the campaign to the pulpit, the agency hopes to leverage the influence of religious leaders and the community to promote a drug-free society. Please listen to her. In rates where people and youths are abusing drugs in our environment is becoming alarming and the thing is affecting us both physical and spiritual. So we now see that there is need for us to propagate this message to the to everybody to let them know the consequence of abusing drug. Because as you see that most of our youth of nowadays, they believe that if they did not abuse drug, they are nothing. The topic we have before you is the youth and drug abuse. The use of drug abuse has become a common phenomenon among our youth nowadays. They believe that if they don't abuse drug, they cannot get there. They cannot make it in life, which is a lie. That is their own thoughts. But we are telling you that if they did not abuse drugs, by the special grace of God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, that they will get there, they will achieve their heavenly life in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that these youths, they don't know the implication of what they call drugs. That is why most of them depend on the drugs. And most of them that that abuse these drugs, that are taking drugs, they hand it sorrowfully. At the end of their life, they hand it by going to jail. And all the way, all the money that their parents invested on them become wasted. What is this drug that we are talking about? A drug that there is just a common preparation by the, 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 the people that prepare it for somebody to get well or for the person that's sick to be healed. For the man, they know it as medicine. All of us know what they call drug. But for the purpose of this talk, we see drug as any chemical substance which when taken into the body by any means whatsoever, either by inhaling or through injection or through rubbing to the skin or through inhaling it or through smoking it, that alter the functions of the body. Anything taken into the body that affects the biochemical or psychological systems of the body. Some people take drugs to be healed. Why some take it to make them from being healed to sick? There are something they call drug abuse. How can somebody abuse drug? This is the act of taking drug in the wrong way, in the wrong perception. When the use of illegal prohibited drugs, you are abusing drugs. When the use of drugs is not medically necessary, you are taking drugs. When the use of socially acceptable drugs, 
like secret that we are spoken, like on a not like alcohol, the people are abusing drugs. Some people will drink beer, they will drink hot drinks to the extent that they will lie down inside the water without knowing they are home again. When they are talking to them, they say, I will get to I will get to so all those things that they are doing is affecting human beings. Some of our parents will drink will not to the extent that the thing will find up at the end of their mouth. When they are talking to you, you the people will be coming out. They will know what they are doing. What they are doing. So today we will take the next day doing the examination. Instead of them to read when they are supposed to be reading, they will not read. They will wait till when the exam will come, maybe tomorrow or next tomorrow. They are creating an pneumonia for themselves. So this is what we are saying. There is something they call drug misuse. Drug misuse is the act of taking drugs without the, without the prescription of the owner, without medical prescription. Somebody has a stomach pain. He takes this mark, he takes concussion, he takes uh, abyss. Different things. Without doctor's prescription. Drug mismanage is when somebody takes drugs more than the stated dose or less than the stated dose. When you are having a very severe day, instead of taking three, two paracetamol tab, you go and take three paracetamol to abuse it. Two thousand of people are dying yearly for abusing paracetamol when they take less than the stated dose. So, what are we saying in essence? Why do people abuse drugs? Many people are abusing drugs. Most of most of our youth because of peer pressure. They are abuse drugs because of the peer pressure. They want to belong to the social circle. They abuse drugs. This another one is alienation. It's happened to our parents. Some people will say that because of what is happening nowadays, they will carry their child from here to Lagos to Papa to go and live with their parents. They will, when they manage the child, the child will want to under water to go and meet people that are there. They will spoil the life of the person. What are those drugs that we are abusing in our environment here? Cannabis. Cannabis as if I would they call the book. The book, they call it the Most of our children they are abusing it. Cause the wrong that we are using for God for the the, our guests are using this for hookup so that they can sleep with them throughout the night without feeling it. So people will go to this toilet, they go and get the odor. So oh my God, they are abusing it. This are done, they are abusing it. Solution. When small child says solution, they say that may be the best solution for him. They are abusing solution. Can I say that we are using it to cook? They are abusing it. Gasoline, that the petrol that we are using to fill our car, our children are abusing it. We parents to be very, very vigilant and watch these children on what they are doing. You make me, let the intimacy be closer to your child. Go to their room and search their room unexpectedly. When you see them with anything, raise an alarm before their lives fall. And we are telling you that drug abuse is the father of all criminals. He must send person for him or how to kill cow or to kill goats that is ready for Christmas to take time. But when they are under this influence of or under the influence of drugs, that is when they can kill their fellow man. That is when they will join court. That is why they will, they will, they will assassinate. That is why they will be kidnapping. He is the father of all criminals. That is when they will, they will go and rob. We are telling you that drug abuse is not good at all. In our society, as I, as a parent, rush out very close to your children. Let your children lean on you. Don't let them out because they are praying. They think that what they are doing is, is the right thing. But I pray to Almighty God that as we are laboring on our, on our children, Almighty God will make them to become God at the end of their, uh, of their, of their life and they will be useful for us in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not become sorrow. They will not go to hell. They will not go to, to, to jail in the mighty name of Jesus. If I do not return to the of us, thank you very much. Glory to Jesus.